I was sitting with Kaylee, our creative editor, doing a photo shoot for the holidays, talking about upcoming press, speaking engagements, and also getting PR for our advisors. And right away, we got one of the amazing platforms for women who want us to do recurring segments around money. And I'm so excited to feature our advisors because this is why I'm doing all this work. I want to get them in front of you as well. We're launching the Women's Wealth Boutique Instagram. We had a team meeting about our upcoming podcast, Women Behind the Millions. So many amazing things going on. And I had a moment thinking back to, and I don't know if you've seen the picture of me, but I'm in a black suit, hair pulled back, no makeup, no pink lipstick on. Looking back on that girl and letting her know, we've we've done it. We've created the Woman's Wealth Boutique. We have our own firm. We have our own firm built by women for women. This is all that we've ever wanted. We are doing it. I'm telling you this because I want you to think back to that little girl <clears throat> or even you a year ago, three years ago, 10 years ago, and how different your life is now. Let's take a moment. Like, I get emotional when I think about it. Even I got my necklace, pink fix on right now. Think about all that has changed for you. And even looking at those issues, those landmines, the setbacks that we thought was, was going to completely derail everything we worked for and how perfectly they went off in our life. How perfectly they set up exactly where you are right now. And now I want you to picture yourself a year from now. I want you to picture yourself five years from now, 10 years from now. How is your life even more different, even more beautiful, abundant? What are you calling in? I don't know why, but the world, God keeps asking me to envision my life, my ideal house, my ideal work, right? my office, everything. And he's asking me to create it with him. That's what he's doing. He's asking me to create it with him. And he's asking you to create your dream, your future as well. And then how do we pull that woman into today? I'm working with one of our advisors who's joining the Women's Wealth Boutique. And I told her, you're going to buy out your partner's book. And it's the first time she ever really thought about it. And it lit a little fire inside of her. And she goes, I can do that. I don't know how. I don't know how. And that's why we were talking. I go, this is how you're going to do it. This is how we're going to do it. And we're going to every step of the way. But you need to show him that you're serious about this. You need to call in that woman now. And how does she make decisions? How does she show up? What does she dress like? How does she lead a team? He needs to see you leading a team. He needs to see you understanding how to lead a team. And taking the initiative and becoming the boss. Becoming that badass boss that she needs to be. And she's doing it. She's doing it. We're setting up the financing calls. We're setting up how she's going to grow her team. We're setting it all up. We're building her business plan to show him she means business. She is serious and she's ready to take this on. We're overcoming his objections. We're moving her forward past it. So who do you need to become to call in all these desires, all these things that you want for your life? Who do you want to become? So first, right? Think of how far you've come. Start co-creating with God and call in that next level woman in today so that you can achieve all that you're